today to present what we always present to you. So remember, it's a way against the fosters. This issue has been lingering up and down, lingering on daily basis. As you can see, we are in a perilous time. So in the first place, we have to welcome you back again. And remember that cyber security is shared responsibility. It is not a personal because everybody share from the cake. If you don't know what you are doing, you fall. Thank you. Next slide, please. Like today, we will be discussing passwords. As we all know, there's no uh, platform like internet platform, uh, social media platform, your bank uh, platforms, all this or webs everywhere you go, all has passwords that guides you, that guide the application that you can use safely because you are not the only person visiting that particular software or that particular website. For instance, Facebook, you cannot register, you cannot do anything on Facebook without password. And this is the key point where the cyber crime I do happening all the days. You hear somebody explaining to you that, yeah, I have lost my Facebook uh, account. It is not because of any other thing. Probably the person just have ordinary password. And that is the reason why we are going to share with you today how can you manage your password. What are the things that you need to know? What are the things you need to do on your password? Today we are going to take a brief of it. We are going to discuss about password. Then you will know that password is very, very important. Please, next slide. You should not joke with your password. Yes, you must treat them the way you will treat a code. The way you treat a code is the way you're supposed to treat your password. It's very, very crucial and important. Password is very, very important to you. Even the pin that you use on your 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 ATM pin is very very important. All these are called password because without it, it's a gateway of access to a particular thing. When you lock your door with padlock, you may not get inside. You may not get access to it. But with your key, you can enter your house. This is same function of password. And this is the reason why it is very, very important that each and every one of us put it first. Treat it like good. In fact, treat it like your gods, one of the gods that you worship. But before we go further, there's some questions that you need to ask yourself. Have you ever used the same password for all your online accounts? This is a very typical question that you need to ask yourself. How many passwords do you have? How many online businesses do you use your password on? How many of them do you use a password on? How many passwords do you have to use on this? How many passwords do you have to use on this? All these things compiled together is what we are trying to discuss now. This is the question you need to ask yourself. At your online account, how many passwords do you have for all? Like you have this, you have this there. Have you ever used one password for every one of them? Some of us might have like two Facebook accounts, might have Instagram, might have Twitter, might have TikTok. All these things are where you use your password. How many of them, or have you ever used one single password for each and every one of them so that you can remember it? This is a typical question that you need to ask yourself. Password is one first line of defense on the internet. That is just the basic. This password is what is our first line of defense. Without you defending this password, my dear, you are you are just as open as a market because anybody can come in and go out. No secret, nothing like security in your online platforms where you use passwords. So, if you don't treat it very well, it will treat you in its own way. It's very, very simple. Because when you don't treat it very well, it means that you don't deserve it. You are not using it. And if you are not using it, what will you do? It's to leave it. That is just the secret of it. But have you asked yourself this question that I'm not going to 
How can your password be strong and skillful when your name is password? Have you ever asked yourself this kind of question? Because some of us will use, uh, like, uh, uh, I will use a. Uh, 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 my name, or maybe I'll use something like uh, 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 John, maybe something like uh, uh, David. All these are names that you can actually use for password. But have you asked yourself, have you ever, how can your password be strong and skillful when your name is your password? This is a typical question that any human being can ask himself. And tell yourself the truth. It is not me that is going to tell you this truth. Just ask yourself. Because some of us, your name might start with a, uh, uh, maybe your name is a, uh, 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 oh, yeah, you use it as a password so that you will remember that your name is your password. This is a typical question that you need to ask yourself. And you just need to ask yourself this question as we are proceeding. Can it be hacked by hackers when A, B, C to Z or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 to 10 is my password? Yeah, this is, this is just a part of it. Just ask yourself all these things. Because we are going to what we are doing. We are trying to tell you what we are supposed to do. Are you getting it? All these are technical questions that you need to ask yourself. When you ask yourself all these questions, you need to answer yourself conveniently and know that, okay, this is obtainable and this is not obtainable. By knowing what a hacker or what a foster could do, and you do it to defend yourself is when you receive online. Do you get me? I say by knowing what a hacker or a scammer can do and you doing it to prevent it or to protect yourself is when you will be secure online. Like this thing now is a password. Yes, can you see it? This, can, this is a typical password. This could be a representation of somebody's name, but don't ask me the name of the person or what it means. Because I don't know what it is, actually. But this can be a password. It's an example of password. But can I hack a hack this? Just ask yourself. If you look at it, you will understand if a hacker or a scammer can assess it and troubleshoot and see if it can go through. Or maybe when it can go inside your, into, into, into your account. So now, firstly, let me give out some rules to be. There's some rules guiding this password. It's not just to have a password, that you have a password. You just be using your password anyhow, anything you see, you use it as a password. And you know you are online. This is a cyber How many people, you know how many millions of people that this is online every day? Are you getting it? So, Every day by day, this thing keep revolving. It keep revolving on daily basis. Nobody will tell you, okay, this is what is actually happening. So now, don't store password in unprotected documents. Like some of us will install our password in our phone, or try to keep it somewhere, even write it on the wall. That's that's what some of us do. This is the first rule you need to do. Don't store passwords in an unprotected document. I have said it now. Unprotected documents are documents that are not encrypted or password protected. Like some passes, like some places where you just put your password, hoping that you have secured it, and you are not. It is not encrypted, or maybe it's protected with a password. It's just as if maybe you open your door and keep your phone inside your house and leave and you feel it is inside your house how could you think of that or what 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 is your motivation of keeping your phone inside your house and open your door why your door is not locked so without using that password to lock it or using key to lock your door a thief could even enter your house carry all your properties and go without your information this is just the first part of it they can be assessed by unauthorized unauthorized they can also be modified or permanently deleted for instance you put your your password in another protocol maybe you have a system where you put it and your system is not locked or inside your phone and your phone is not protected somebody can enter it and delete it and because you have installed it in your phone put it there if it is deleted you might have forgotten it are you getting it but you are still safe 
because if you forget it you forget it you are still safe because it is not a hacker that even have access to it have access to your phone have access to your password that can use it to steal whatever that is belonging to you next don't use any default password like some of for if you register anything online and they say okay well, this is this default password that you can use that this password is free is is, is available i tell you today don't use it i say don't use it don't even try to use it do you know the reason default password are pre-configured password for devices if it is default it is default that means it is something that they can even give any other human being that's just it it is something it is default it is not it is not pre it is it just pre-configured okay let it look like it just like okay you want to uh you want to sweep or maybe you want to fresh water somebody will tell you okay say how to fresh water which you still know how to do it but you follow okay the way the person teach you how to fresh water and be doing it like this it's not creative are you getting it so that is the reason why you should not use it at all at all for instance in your atm machines where you withdraw your money with your password if you are coming out they will ask you to go to the atm machine to reconfigure to change your password they will give you a default password that you will use that password is a predefined to that machine you cannot just use it because they have given it to you you start using it any human being can access it are you getting it that is why you should not use a default password don't use dictionary words as a password no matter the length and complex of it dictionary words like the words from the dictionary that means you cannot use a name as a as a password and expect your account to be safe you just need to use a very nice password which we are going to jump in I will teach you how you can create a very strong password that is well protected that when you ever you are using it you know you are using a password you are not using it for just fancy sake sometimes i feel i feel demoralized as some people will be coming out and say because something happened to my account that i lost my account ask any ask in fact ask up to 100 of your your colleagues they will tell you that they have lost account or one of them must tell you that they have lost their, their account or any of their relatives have lost their accounts on daily basis such as english spanish chinese french Igbo, yoruba Hausa dictionaries etc anything like dictionary word in the dictionary don't use it that is just the simple truth if you want to stay safe on cyber 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 world are you getting it if you want to stay safe make sure you don't use all these passwords that are in dictionary they are all they are not part of it at all they are not part of it the next don't use common words or familiar names as passwords that's what i said you using something like uh, obina you using like something like uh, john or uh, 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 chibu or whatever whatever you are using don't use it as a password all those names are not part of it do you know the reason such as children name friends name company name son son name first name last name and date of birth they cannot be used as a password some of us will use our date of birth for their atm cards you do because maybe because you are born in 1990 you will be using 1999 as your password you are just deceiving yourself because the day that a foster will catch that your atm card the person will just be through your money it is as simple that is how they do it are you getting it so you don't need to use your name or your birth name, date of birth or whatever as your password change your password at least two times a year that is another thing you must be changing your password at least two times every year you change your password every year two times you change at least probably if possible change it quarterly so that you will be very very safe the same way drugs have expiration dates that is the way passwords have expiration date as well are you getting this the same way you see drugs maybe when you go to buy drugs in the pharmacy shop you will bring up the drugs and check the expiring dates that is how passwords have expiring dates 
past wars expires. It is not. It is not a a a a, a, a hard way. Even hard way, some some of them expires. Even human being expires. Not to talk of password. Ordinary password that is just great. So you need to change your password because it do expires. That is what we are trying to tell you here. So if you have not changed your password, ask yourself if you have changed your password. This if you have not, mind you, your password have expired. Change it automatically. Are you getting it? I say change it. As, as I'm talking to you, you have to change your password because it has expired. Are you getting it? Don't know the use the same password for more than one account. Yes, some of us that we have our Gmail account, our Yahoo account, our Instagram account, Facebook account, Twitter account, TikTok account, mention but few. We'll be using one password for each and every one of them. Mind you, whenever a hacker figure out such a password, he or she can access more account of yours and cause more damage if i know your facebook account password and you still use the same password on your instagram do you know what i have your instagram account if you still use it on your twitter account do you know what i have your twitter password so i can log into each and every one of these and probably hack your account and take the account from you you can't do anything Yes, you can't do anything because your password is open to every. It's, it's just like a public, public, public a, a, a market, a marketplace where anybody can come in and purchase anything and go. So I too, I will come in to purchase something and go. That is how this thing is working. Having distinct and unique password for each of your online account would help in containing the impact hijackers. Yes, this is the people that hijack accounts. They will take it away from you, whether you like it or not. They will just hijack it, take it from you and hold it by themselves. So if you have even your crying, they don't care to know. Are you getting it? So because you have different different passwords on each of your, your accounts, yes, it will help. It will help you so that even if they get this one, they will not get the other one. Are you getting it? And this is the introduction to this password. We still have some other things to, to talk about on this password issue. Because it is very, very numerous. And it is so wide that you need to know so many things. Because that is the bedrock of internet space. Or maybe internet world. Everything. That is the that is the cyber world entirely. Without password, your devices, your phone, your even the laptop that you use, the desktop that you use, whatever application, computer that you are using, all of them deserve password so that your document will be protected from unidentified human being that might try to do one or two things. So this is how we have figured we have structured this uh, password of a thing you have to know this and know it take it just from now start thinking about everything that we have actually taught you here are you getting it please don't forget to click on subscribe subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, get some updates like for some time now we have not actually uh, come online to preach or to tell you what you're supposed to know which we are doing right away but it's still very very important subscription is not it's not something that somebody will collect money from you please just help our own ministry and help your own self ministry it is not it is not it is not a difficult thing i know so many people might be thinking okay okay this person is just seeking for for subscription but that is not we are telling you we are presenting this thing to you as it it is pain enough yes it is pain enough if you have actually come around all these things if it has happened to you you will know that this thing is very very crucial and it deserves every accolade so thanks so much for for the day thank you for staying with us 
thank you for the time you spent and every aspect of it that you have actually spent. I thank you so much. Please, any other information that you need, you can refer to our channel. You can refer to our Facebook page and get more information about all the things we are talking about. We are not here for a joke. We are here for a serious business. And the internet security is a serious business. It's a serious business because it affects each and every one of us. If it is not affecting you, it might affect your relative. It might affect your relative. I said, I have a friend whom his account has been hijacked. And there's nothing he can do about it because the person has lost it. You have lost it. You have lost it. And this is what we are trying to convey and try to minimize possible to stop so thank you very much thank you for your time